it's time for Couple Goals with your host, Bob DeBilda. All right. All right, welcome to Couple Goals, a game where married couples find out just how well they know each other. Tonight's show is sponsored by Swiffer Wet Jet. Want to swirl some wet hair around in circles on your bathroom floor? <laughs> Try Swiffer Wet Jet. All right, let's meet our contestants. <laughs> They recently moved into their dream home in Agora Hills. It's Nick and Nicole Lodi. <laughs> oh, that's cute. And their childhood sweethearts who've known each other since they were six. It's Brian and Abby Green. <laughs> so sweet. As you know, your spouse's, your spouse's answered a series of questions before the show, and it's up to you to guess what they said. Question one, what's your wife's favorite book? Nick. Oh, uh, I, I know that one, Bob. It's Harry Potter. Okay, let's see what Nicole said. Harry Potter. <laughs> That's my humble pie. All right. All right, the Lodies are on the board. Let's go to the Greens. Brian. Well, I know my little reader's favorite book. It's Where the Crawdads Sing. All right, let's see what Nicole said. Oh, the Bible. <laughs> Sorry, baby. We're so close. Was he? <laughs> Lodies, over to you. What is your husband's greatest fear? <laughs> well, not sure he wants people to know this one, but it's definitely heights. Okay, she <laughs> says heights, and Nick says his greatest fear is that you'll die in a bizarre accident, and even though I had nothing to do with it, the police will assume I did it after discovering how much I've complained about you in text messages to my friends. I should have said heights. <laughs> I'll say. Moving on to the greens. Abby, what is your husband's greatest fear? Well, you won't see this man at a picnic. It's bees. Ah, oh, shoot. I said losing the kids. <laughs> no points, but the greens are trying their best. <laughs> Next question is for the Lodies. What's something your husband has always wanted to know? Still a little thrown by that last one. Um, but, but this one's easy. Do aliens exist? Okay, and Nick said he's always wanted to know if police can still read your text messages if you destroy your wife's phone right after your wife is crushed by the garage door or equivalent accident. <laughs> Nick, what have you been texting? Uh, <laughs> whoops. <laughs> Over to Abby. Uh, what's something your husband has always wanted to know? Well, I think this one will get us back on track if there's an afterlife. Sounds confident. Brian said... What it feels like to be with a man. Why would you say that on TV, babe? I didn't know we'd have to show our answers to everyone. And the Greens continue to be odd, but pleasant people. <laughs> Next question for the Lodies. What was your biggest fight about? Oh, okay, I know this one. The Hawaii incident. All right, Nick says the Hawaii incident, and Nicole says... The time we were in Hawaii on top of a waterfall and I wanted to jump in, but you held me back and wouldn't let me do it until there were other people around. <laughs> Five points to the lobby. That's why you wouldn't let me jump? All right, that sound means it's time for a bonus question. This one's for Nicole. Where is a place your husband has always wanted to visit? I mean, I feel like I don't even know this man. Um, but, but I guess he always said Durango. <laughs> Yes, baby, yes. Uh oh. <laughs> okay, finally. <laughs> yeah, and uh, what, what, what's with the dot, dot, dot? When I'm wrongly accused of your death, I'll turn to the only lawyer I know who would possibly believe me, your college roommate, Stephanie. Uh, the night before the jury returns the verdict, realizing that the situation is hopeless, we'll go on the run together across the border. <laughs> When we get to our hotel room, we see that there's only one bed. She calls the front desk to complain, but I see that she's holding down the button, and that's how I know it's on. <laughs> Finding ourselves in a place beyond right and wrong, we make love and reach a new apex of human pleasure. Today might be my last day of freedom, and I act accordingly. <laughs> Dripping in sweat. Trained of 10 years of secret longing, we stare at the ceiling. What's the name of this town again, I whisper. Durango, she says. And then she mounts me once more. So, you both said Durango. <laughs> Which means, Lodies, you have won our grand prize. We did. We won, baby. We won. Yeah, pack your headlamps because you just won a romantic nighttime couples walk.
along the cliffs of Dover. No, 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 thank you. <laughs> no. You have to. No, no, no. no.